what's going on everybody welcome back to your tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our Twitter extension which I've been doing from past three tutorials or maybe two but let's get started so uh, where I left was is that we actually trimmed a little bit of data from Twitter and we were just left with the header stream activity header which included a uh, timestamp and uh, some links and uh, that's pretty much it so what we need to do is we need to get only the text of this inside this so as to get a simplified message so let's just do it so what I'll do is we can run a loop and an array which would store all of these messages and let's see what we can do it with it so I'll just create a for loop here is less than data dot find um, and what we need to find we need to find the li obviously because the number of li's are the number of notifications you have currently so we'll just go with and I'll just do add plus plus and we'll just create an array right here so I'll just do messages I equals and what it should equal is is where are you activity header and we could just make it to activity header to save a little DOM manipulation this dot find or not this actually this should be data dot find um, I guess we should keep it the same you know I'm a little bit confused so let's just keep it same with li dot stream item dot find li dot stream item but the difference is eq now eqi gives us the ith or the nth li we are working with so now we can just move down a bit in the DOM tree and <coughs> and I want to find what I want to find is this thing right here yeah so I want to find this what we could pick maybe this one this class div and I just want to return its text so at the end I'll just console log messages so let's just see what happens okay we got a blank array alright or no actually we need that symbol because we are actually using that so let's just see what's happening okay this should be length let's reload now okay so we have got now the messages and I guess these denote new lines so let's just trim out this all the stuff and instead of just creating a new function what we can do is just use some regular expressions ok 
Okay. I don't know what I pressed. Yeah, it's back to normal. And I'd like to have a global flag on it. And obviously not in quotes. I guess I put it by mistake. Should be replaced by a nothing. And this should be trimmed out by default JavaScript. So let's just check it out now. Let's reload this. Or okay, we have got some problems. Let me see. Or we can just do a new line replace, can't we? Yeah, so looks much cool now. Okay. So we have got a bunch of empty elements between as well, but that should be no worry. We'll manage that later. So we have got the messages as individual elements in the array and we could actually get some more information if you see so we have got all these titles right here these titles and we need something else and those are IDs these data item IDs so let's just see how we can retrieve them so we were working with this li context as a loop and we could actually make them IDs as array as well so IDs i would equal to this this thing right here having the attribute firstly the EQ and the attribute to be data item ID alright so now we have associated every ID X with a message X so ID 1 stands for message 1's ID ID 2 stands for message 2 ID and so on so let's just console log both of these um, separately <coughs> let's just reload this alright so we have got the length as 19 and the length as 19 both are same so there should be no problem in equating them with a similar variable now we can do as latest ID and set this latest ID to the IDs 0 now this tweet is having the latest ID so now let's say let's just remove these two let's say if <coughs> our latest ID or we can just set it right now let's say if our latest ID is equal to ID 0 that means there's no update to the tweet else if else if if latest ID is undefined and I'll just triple check it that means our program ran for the first time so we should handle this some different way else if latest ID is equal to is not equal to uh, ID 0 and you see that I have specified this is not equal to condition be after the undefined because this would validate if I specify this condition underneath this one so if latest ID is not equal to our current ID that means there has been some update with the messages so what we can do is we can create some new tweets as an array again and we can say <coughs> for uh, let's just create some containers for some conditions to be put on 
and let's say for j equals 0 lead test id is not equal to id j and uh, j should be incremented over the time so now I will also specify if uh, base condition or let's just leave it now so we are running this loop unless we encounter the latest ID and we'll just append the new, uh, new tweets with the messages so what's happening here is we are running a latest ID loop which would run unless we encounter the ID which is the old ID one and else if we could actually specify if latest id is equal to id 0 there's no update if latest id is undefined we'll see this later and if this thing is happening then we have got our new tweets in an array and we'll just latest id update it to the id 0 so i guess um, we are partially done our code it's 40 percent completed this extension and that's it for this tutorial because there's a lot of coding in this and it needs some time for you to understand and if you don't understand what I'm doing in this tutorial then don't worry because at the last of this extension I will explain this whole coding again so if I missed anything which you didn't understood in this video then don't worry I'll be explaining all of this extension code again so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then in the next one continuing with the same extension and then see you.